What is up guys? Today we are going to be building our own nuclear fission reactor. Now people will typically spend years learning how to make and operate these things, but I found a simple, easy way to make these at home yourself. I mean, <laughs> it's not rocket science. The first thing you'll need is just a normal glass of water. The purpose of the water is to be boiled down from the nuclear isotope and create steam. Next, you'll have to get a small radioactive isotope to use as your fuel rod. For this example, I'll be using this rod of uranium-235. Isn't this cool? The stuff is usually really hard to get, but my cousin who works at got me some. Next, you'll want to take your uranium rod and put it directly in the water. Yeah, so I did not do that in the right order. I forgot to put in the control rods first. For those, we are just going to use pencils, not only for their convenient rod-like shape, but because of the graphite in them. The graphite helps absorb the neutrons produced by the fission, slowing down the reaction to a more sustainable level. So, doing this in the right order, we put the pencils in first, making sure to disperse them as much as you can. And now for the moment of truth, the uranium! Oh gosh. I think it's okay. And now for the moment of truth to see how much power this thing actually generates. So to do that, I'm just gonna stick one end of a USB charger in here, like so. And I'm just gonna put the other end into my phone here and see if it works. Oh yeah, look at it go, look at it go. Now some of you might be wondering, how much radiation does this thing give off? Which is a pretty valid question considering, you know, it's a nuclear reactor and everything. So I downloaded this app on my phone that tells me. And as you can see, it's not too bad. It's still within manageable levels. My phone may have stopped working, but that's okay. It's probably not much higher. So yeah, this was a fairly simple tutorial. I hope y'all are able to easily follow along. I mean, you know, nuclear energy is a very sustainable, eco-friendly producer of energy. So doing this will definitely not only save your power bill, but potentially your neighbors, your entire neighborhood, and the size of your city as well. It's been about a week since I connected to the power mains here, and as you can see, the absolutely monstrous energy output is causing it to go in reverse, which is pretty sweet. But as you can see up there, uh, it burnt through the wire, but that's not important. Anyway, if this video gets 100 likes, I will build a fusion reactor in the next video, so stay tuned.